All right, everybody. Well, anyone who's chasing, chasing uh, loose gas cap warning or EVAP codes, it's that time of year. The weather has changed so dramatically. Uh, right there, see that symbol? Where is it? Where's my finger? Where can I get it? Oh, 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 wait, down, down, down. Right there. <laughs> so uh, what you want to do first, if you're chasing an EVAP code and if you want to try and track it down yourself, which is difficult, the first thing you don't, the first thing you want to do is inspect your gas cap. All right, and then you want to look at this gas cap here and you're going to see around the edge that there's splits in the gas cap. So if you have a gas cap and it's not bright colored anymore, then you definitely want a replacement. Replace it. What you don't want to do is go to any of your parts stores and buy an aftermarket piece of crap part that doesn't fit your car, especially when it comes to eval. So this is a 16 Audi, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, seven years old. So between seven and 10 years is the most popular that we see for gas caps wearing out unless they're missing or installed wrong. There are also many other things that cause EVAP problems. Um, but you want to start with the simple thing. As a consumer, um, you want to check the gas cap. So uh, we're going to order an OEM gas cap. And then these style here, they can be maintenance, but they do need to be replaced too. So this is called the capless. Very difficult to diagnose and repair it yourself. Oh, look at that. That's quality. Hmm. Always use OEM parts for EVAP problems. Nothing but headaches with aftermarket stuff. 